Good morning, Chris from the Headache and Pain Management Centre for you Thursday. And today I'm talking about something that really uh, excites me, and that is getting strong in your back. And not just strong in your back, but pretty much any muscle that is behind you. So your shoulder blades, uh, the back of your neck, um, all the way down to your lower back, even the glutes and hamstrings. So anything that is behind you that you can't see if you look straight down or look straight ahead, that is something that we need to talk about today. If you are joining us, type in below and say hello because uh, this is a topic uh, that is very exciting for pretty much all manner of different musculoskeletal conditions and other things as well. So yes, having strong back muscles, that's really, really, really important. And uh, I'm talking more specifically um, about the, so I'm sitting on the MedX machine, by the way, which is our um, back strengthening machine. And uh, basically when we're talking about the muscles behind you, so the muscles of your back, the muscles of your shoulder blades, the muscles at the back of your neck, and also the glutes and hamstrings, um, that is something which is called the posterior chain. Okay, so a lot of exercise physiologists use that phrase, uh, posterior chain. Good morning, I can see you there. Type in below and say hello. We're talking about uh, getting strong today. And uh, basically when we're talking about that set of muscles, it's getting us to get upright. Okay, so if we look at people that are healthy, people that are strong, people that you look at and you just go, man, that person is really just owning life. That person is looking really fit. That person's looking really youthful, looking really just strong. What they're doing is they're basically standing up tall. Okay, they're standing in a position where they are upright. They're confident looking. They just look like they own it. And it's really interesting because uh, what we've found is, uh, and you know, evolutionary psychology will tell you this as well, is that um, as you stand up tall, it actually makes you feel confident and more strong. There's a lot of body language uh, talks that talk about that, and uh, there's a really there's a whole lot of different complex. Um, sort of chemical processes that happen when you feel good or down. And when you're feeling down, it actually brings you forward. It actually brings you down into like a slumpy type posture. If you've ever seen someone who's feeling really down in the dumps, um, who's feeling a little bit depressed, who having a bit of a struggle, you notice that their posture just doesn't seem quite right. They're not as upright as they were before. Um, they're not quite as, um, you know, just strong looking. They're not quite as uh, confident looking. Their walking might be a little bit slower. Their, their stride length might be a bit shorter. Um, their speed might be a little bit shorter. And the reason for this, if they're feeling down, is because we get into a posture or our muscles get into a pattern where the flexion group, so the, the muscles that actually bring you into the fetal position, uh, start to take over more than the muscles that actually get you upright and get you um, out of that sort of fetal position bent down posture. Now this can happen not just for um, you know, psychological reasons, but also um, if we're you know, not as strong as we could be, if we're not ambulant, um, if we're not doing as much exercise as we could, because when we're sitting a lot, we're in a flexed position. So you can see me there, my hips are flexed, uh, my knees are bent, uh, I can probably see it there, but um, everything is in sort of a flexed, bent over posture, whereas when people are actually upright and they're tall, they're standing upright, their shoulders are back, they're actually getting everything upright, their neck is in a little bit, they're not, in, they're not out like that, they're upright, their bum's in, and they're just walking nice and steadily um, along, the, uh, along the walkway. G'day, Matt Matteo, it's good to see you there, buddy. Um, all the way from Italy, type in and say hello. So yes, you would know absolutely how important it is to be strong um, in the muscles behind you. So your, your shoulder blades, your back, your neck, all of these sorts of things. So when we're talking about um, strength in this regard, it's really important to have some sort of program with your physio or anyone that's actually treating you for pain to get strong in the muscles behind you. Because uh, when people are in pain, it's a really complex sort of um, uh, situation that you find yourself in, in your brain that is. So, you know, it's looking for, it's overly sensitive to messages of threat, um, which, but may they uh, perceived or real, I might add. Um, and basically we need to give your brain good input to say, hey, everything's great, okay, everything is strong, I'm confident there's more safety than there is danger. And one way to do that is actually to get strong. So to give your brain some input and feedback to say, hey, look, we're actually going quite well here. So, you know, my muscles are turned on, I'm standing upright, everything's going great. And the more that you do that, the better it is. And the stronger you are on your back muscles, so, you know, your, your shoulder blades, your lower back, your neck, 
your glutes and your hamstrings, you actually stand up straighter just naturally because you're stronger um, on the back than you are on the front, or you've got the strength at the very least to keep the posture upright, which um, reduces the risk of pain, which just makes you more confident, sure and certain about it yourself. So here at the Headache and Pain Management Center, as I said, we've got this uh, really awesome looking machine. If I can get it out of the way, there it is. So the Medex lumbar extension machine, which is the best machine to actually get low back strength happening. So if you've got um, low back pain and it's actually causing you to bend forward, which by extension will make you not feel great about yourself because you can't um, stand up straight, you can't get up, you can't walk well, uh, you can't run well, you can't do the things you want to do, then this machine can actually assist in getting your back strength going. So it's actually getting your back stronger so you can stay upright because uh, right at the bottom of your spine, if you haven't got those muscles to actually hold you up straight, then you're going to slump forward. And uh, all of those things I was just talking about may come into effect. So it's really important to be strong in your lower back. And uh, then our program, if we're to uh, go forward with it, is to strengthen your lower back, strengthen the shoulders, strengthen the glutes, strengthen the hamstrings to get you upright um, to go from there. So, you know, it's a really important thing to do. Uh, all of my team use this machine very regularly to actually keep upright and strong. Um, I know Ryan is a, a very avid crossfitter and Deborah does a lot of rock climbing too, so it all helps with all of that. Um, so yes, it's, it's very, very good to use. If you've got low back pain, if you are someone who's a slumper, a sloucher, someone who doesn't stand up straight or can't stand up straight, then get in touch with us. If you are interested in a bit of information about all of this stuff that I'm talking about, um, I've got a really good booklet about the MedX machine. Just type in the, the phrase MedX into the, uh, into the uh, comments below and I can send that to you if you are interested in what the MedX machine does and how it can help you get upright in your posture, stand up straighter and feel more confident, sure and certain about yourself. That's all it is uh, for today. I've got some things to do. Actually uh, redoing our website so that'll be uh, up very soon. It's very exciting and uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow with another Facebook Live video. Cheers and bye for now.